Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at how the erase white paper command works and we're going to emulate it, do something very similar to it, which means then we can use that to vary it and do different things that the original command doesn't quite do. So we're going to start off, we're going to go to View, Studio and the Info panel just to see what happens here. And these two bits here where the fade to black and the fade to white are the interesting ones. And we'll look at the red, green and blue here and A is A for alpha or transparency. 255 means it is opaque, 0 means it's completely see-through and if it's see-through it's transparent you'd see the checkerboard underneath which shows that you're looking through into nothing. So if I move along here look at what happens to black Red is coming down, but the green and blue, the other colours, are staying low. They're all they're very, very low, and this is important because they're at the minimum level. All right. Now, if you go to white, now what's happening here? Red stays high, but the green and the blue come up. Yeah. So the minimum is coming up now. So that's the thing to remember because I'm going to emulate the the way that's happening there because I'm going to use that, that raising value here, the green and blue there, which is 79, and to subtract that away from the A to make the alpha lower, which means it's going to make it more transparent. So let's do that, but we'll use the original first. So we'll do a couple of copies here, so we've got some things to play with. Turn off the bottom ones. First of all, just for reference, we'll do filters, colors and erase white paper on the top. So there's this effect here where this fades through here, doesn't change, goes through to black because the minimum is, is zero here. And it's, you know, it's where you're fading to white. There's the biggest effect. Fading to gray looks pretty similar. There's not as much as you might expect because it's not all the way to white. So turn that off, turn the next one on. And we will do a filters and apply image here because let's that lets us put in equations, which aren't complicated. They're just like you use in Excel if you've ever done that. Anyway, we click use current layer as source, then equations, and that allows us to type in something here. So this is red, green, and blue, and A for alpha, SA just means alpha. Then take away the minimum of SR, comma, SG, SB. Notice it's in red, and when it goes white, that means it can, it's, it's fine, it's going to work, it's going to do it. So I put a closing bracket on that, and bing, the U it does it, and look, we've got the same effect here. This now is going cross to black when there's no change there. Here, however, with the white, it's working in the grey, it's a bit. Let's compare that. Notice how far across it fades yeah, out about here. Take that off, put the original. This doesn't fade quite so fast, does it? So we can play with the formula here. We could say divided by two. And now we can see here this fades across as well. How, how is that like there? Still a little bit more. Maybe divided by three. This is how we do it, just experiment with it. It's pretty similar, isn't it? We can use that. It don't have to be exactly the same. This the the algorithm is probably in a program, so it's not quite as simple as this, I think, but this comes very close to what it does. So we can use this in a real picture. So I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate this and turn off the bottom one so we'll be able to see the effect. Go to Filters, Apply Image. Then we will use the current layer of source. Go to Equations and SA is SA minus minimum of SR comma SG comma SB. Divided by three. You can see it being applied as we go. And there we've got peeping through here is the transparency, so we've, we've cut a hole in that. So now if we turn the bottom one on, 
and then we can do things like go down and put in overlay or soft light or maybe multiply and we can have a very similar effect as that to us if we had used the original razor white paper but also we can play with this as well so what if I say divided by five you know is there any different effect there how about if we said the minimum of just red and green we're going to get a slightly different effect or even you said just control for red so there if you look at that this is now taking red away whenever there is red in the picture even including in red green and blue uh, such as white this is changing the transparency from it so everywhere where there is a lot of red it's taking it out so we if we uh, apply that we get a different effect again and we can play with the blend modes on that etc so we've got a lot more flexibility once we've got the idea of how the whole thing works there we go hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching